What's up, Drew Mercy? Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we're hopping into Buffy the Vampire Slayer, episode number seven, season number seven, called Conversations with Dead People. Hopefully, it's a good episode. I hope it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episode if you want them. If you don't, totally cool. Episodes will be here on YouTube whenever they show up. So, previous episode, previous episode, we had, was it, was it him? The episode where um, the... The jacket was make, was making all the girls like fall in love with uh with the quarterback guy. I think that was the episode. Was there anything at the end of that episode that mattered? I don't think so. Tara? I don't think anything mattered, right? Because the episode before that was the Anya stuff. Spike's now living with Xander, if I remember correctly, right? I think that was everything. Well, we're gonna hop in here, have a good time. Here we go. You keep circling around, just just drive straight in. Just what? Shut up. The hell? Low pro. You guys are back? Scared. Oh, no, why are you guys back? Thirty-three point three bar percent of us were flayed alive. Calm down. No one's getting flayed alive. We've got a plan. We're gonna fix all this. We should have stayed. Gee, what are you talking about? She says she still sings. Oh, no. No. Remember that time on the bridge when you sang to each other? This is no, this is messed up. No. She says even though you can't hear it, she still sings to you. Oh, no. Tara? Oh, come on. <laughs> What? I mean, there could have been no. What the hell? How is that your options? There are other options besides take out the electronics. Oh god. The oh marshmallow? God. Well, obviously you moron. My god. Dawn is kind of dumb. That mom? Mom? Okay. Uh, it's, that's, they're so nice. sad and pathetic. I knew it. There you are. I'm scared out of my freaking gourd here. Take it easy. Take it easy. I remember. So is this like real? Who are you? Oh my, who are you gonna see? Who the hell are you? Do I know you? Do we know her? But it never lasts. It's weird that Buffy's having a grand conversation with this dude. My parents weren't exactly the paragon of stay togetherness. No, no, I get the battle against evil. That's not the issue. There is no issue. Don't issue me. Just answer. <laughs> this is kind of whose fault was your parents' divorce? Okay, you know what? This is beyond evil. This is. I'm gonna go with your dad. Logic. What do my parents have to do with you? I'm just curious. Your opinion. Maybe you think you're better than them. Hey, there's that bloodlust I was looking for. Struck a nerve. I'm gonna strike a nerve. I mean, that is you don't get off this. an interesting I don't outlook. remember you being this annoying. You don't remember me at all. Yes, I do. Yeah, like after 30 minutes of reminding. And I don't take it personally because clearly you were in your own little world. And you know how this guy sounds like a little bit? He sounds like the guy from Gilmore Girls. You live with that for seven years and not feel superior. I'm not. My God, not if anything, it... Who actually is this? Because there's no way in hell this I is mine. I hear mom. you breathing. Is this a demon dog coming after mom? Are you hurting my mother? Are you keeping her from coming back to me? Oh. No, let's not. No, no, let's not do that. I don't want to do that. I'm coming towards you, okay? Oh. What the fuck is happening? Let her talk. Maybe. My mother needs to talk to me. Look at you. Holy oh, shit. 
<laughs> oh, he can't touch you? you from this place. It is your poison in your brain. Oh, wait. Why is he why is the demon letting you do that? Evil, you took advantage of Willow. What? Die. And you could see her. You wouldn't have to talk through me. Oh. Wow. That's what you oh. want, isn't it? No. Of course. So go. Oh. With her. Everybody will be safe and you'll be together again. It's not that bad. Really. But it, no, there's no way you No way you think that she's not evil. Come on, bro. Come on, Willow. You're smart. Who are you? Come on, Willow. Who are you? Yes. What do you mean? How do you know Spike? What do you mean, how? He was the guy that, um... He against you. Come on, that's not your mom. I don't know what that is, but it ain't your mom. No! No, don't go! What the hell is happening? Oh my god, are we setting shit up now? Talk about getting excited. Yes. What are we setting up here? I don't know if he's gonna die. Suicide thing was too. I fell into the mill and it covered you in blue. I'm confused. I thought you wanted to be good. You have a soul now. Okay, I like genuinely want to clap. <laughs> like, I want to clap for this episode. Not because it's like the best episode or anything, but because like it feels like Buffy. Like it feels like the show. It's been, uh, it's been a while since it's felt like Buffy to me. Like it's been a good show, but it has, it has in fact, it, the magic of what Buffy was it was so sporadic throughout the season last season um and even this season that i don't know i'm just kind of like i like this episode a lot i love the conversations i love that in the end it was a trick i don't know that i don't get the spike thing the spike thing is intriguing to me I don't understand. <laughs> he, I thought he had a soul and he wanted to be good and all this other shit, right? Maybe he didn't want to be good. But I thought he had a soul. And that doesn't appear to be the case. He does, but he doesn't care. Is Does he have a soul and he's a serial killer? Um, and, you know, we got the three idiots back. Well, two of the three. Well, three because of the ghost. But for some reason, I didn't hate it. I actually love the conversation that Jonathan had with the other dumbass. But, like, I love what he said. And him dying I felt bad. I felt sad. Because, you know, the one dude's brainwashed as hell. Not really brainwashed, but he's brainwashed. Um, and, yeah, Warren's back. I think his name's Warren. He's back in a ghost form. I, I For a second, I thought he was the guy doing He was the person doing it. Like, it was him. But I don't think it was him. I think there's something else there. Right? Gotta be. Because, like, the girl that had the conversation with Willow and through Tara and all that, and that thing, you know, it wasn't, like, it was, it wanted to talk to Willow. It wanted to take Willow out, which means Willow's a very powerful person still into this in the show and she's like we're gonna be like very powerful in the battle because why else would you want to take her out you know what i mean like you took her out or you want to take her out because she's gonna she could sway the balance i even thought the conversation with buffy and the one vampire was rock solid some people probably won't like it like it took me a while like I, what i was when i was watching i'm like what's happening this is weird but the more i like 
heard her venting to a vampire, venting to this person, this vampire who is like a shrink, it like fascinated me. And I was like, damn, Buffy's just talking, airing out her feelings and her emotions. I thought that that was all super cool. The Even the Dawn stuff was solid. It was weird. Her doing all the magic and shit and like knowing a spell that can do that to a demon is weird for Dawn. That she's the one that can do it. But I thought that for the most part it was handled pretty well. Like it it did things right for her and the emotions with them with mom, with Joyce coming back. And it was that wasn't Joyce, right? Or was that Joyce? Was Dawn so we know that Willow wasn't talking to the actual person. Willow was talking to like a demon or some shit. Was Dawn actually speaking to mom? Because mom said some things that I don't think she would say. She said when it comes to something, Buffy won't be there. Can't depend on Buffy. That doesn't seem like a mom thing, like a Joyce thing. So there's no way that she that, that was really her, right? It can't be. It would make sense <laughs> if it was her. Um, no Xander, no Anya. Tara was, you know, wasn't even really here either because we, you know, the conversation wasn't real. Like, the, there was no conversation with Tara. Um, yeah, the Spike thing. Spike is siring people. Like, he's almost like creating an army. Spike is crazy. He is crazy. I thought that the woman, I thought that the woman was bad. She was going to do something to Spike. But nope. Spike is siring an army for some reason. Very intrigued, curious about it all. But yeah, overall, rock solid episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'd give it like an eight, like a strong eight. Uh, I don't know where these seasons rank, but I like it. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Later. <laughs>